Today we're going to go through an introduction to JSTL. Uh, we're going to show you how to use the Java Server Pages tag, tag libraries uh, to simplify JSP development. Before we begin, we should cover some of our experience, expectations, and assumptions. Um, in order for you to be successful in this lesson, you should have ideally be able to write some Java classes on your own. You should be able to create web applications using JSPs and servlets. You should be able to take Java classes that you've written, integrating them with JSPs. Uh, you should be able to use standard actions like the JSP use bean action. You should also be able to build and deploy war files or ears that contain war files. And last but not least, you should have some familiarity with an ECMA-based scripting language such as JavaScript or Bash programming. From a setup perspective, in order for you to do the labs and follow along with the examples, you'll need to make sure that your personal machine is configured correctly. The first thing you'll need is the Java Development Kit version 5 or higher. Uh, make sure that when you install Java, you do install the Java Development Kit and not just the JRE because you need the compiler tools. Second piece is an application server. The way that this lesson is structured is purely using a servlet or JSP container. That means that you could run the labs and the examples within a web application container such as Tomcat. Um, in your environment, you probably have a fully compliant Java EE application server such as WebSphere. The labs and the solutions will all work on Java EE version 1.4 or higher. From an IDE perspective, any Java EE aware IDE will work. Uh, Eclipse or WebSphere's development environment will work fine with our bundle. And then last but not least, obviously, is the WAR file should be configured in your project environment. With those in place, and, and the lab set up correctly, let's talk about what we'll explore in this lesson. The lesson is broken up into three different sections. The first section is what is JSTL? This section covers an overview and a background and the motivations for using JSTL. The second lesson is working with JSTL. Working with JSTL explores the architecture of JSTL, uh, the component libraries that are included with JSTL, and also examines simplistically how you could install JSTL within a web application. The last lesson is the hands-on lesson. It gives you the opportunity for you to apply the background knowledge and the installation experience into the creation of JSPs. The Introduction to JSTL Core Tag Library lesson focuses only on the Core Tag Library and some of the more common tags within that library. When you're done with this entire lesson, you should be able to do the following things. You should be able to list at least two best practices in web design. You should be able to describe the purpose and the motivations behind using JSTL. You should be able to describe the installation process, as well as list the five JSTL tag libraries and their purposes. Of course, you should be able to do some hands-on programming with JSTL in the JSP environment. The best example there would be to refactor an existing JSP into a JSP that uses JSTL. 